Today is Bird Day, and Tim Azell has found a few feathered friends to celebrate with. He's in Overland at a place that's caring for the birds this morning. You know I love it. I'm a bird nerd, Tim. I know you are a bird nerd, Randy, and you love it, and you would love this place. It is Wild Bird Rehabilitation. Where they're all about caring for the songbirds in and around our area. Big area because they're the only facility in the state of Missouri. Joe Hoffman, the executive director, joined us this morning. And uh, this is what you do. You take care of the songbirds. Yes, and we're, we're, this year was our busiest year ever. And uh, we've been around 30 years. If you find an injured or orphaned bird, you can bring it to us. And we've got a lot of volunteers that will help you over the phone and answer your questions. We've got some birds ready for release right here. Tell, tell me about these before uh, we do the release. These uh, are morning doves. Yeah, in here we have four morning doves and they came to us as babies and uh, they come and we feed them in an incubator and sometimes when we feed babies it's every 15 minutes. Wow. Um, and so our staff and, and volunteers are very very busy and uh, um, constantly feeding and uh, on timers. So we have uh, timers going during the summer and spring and then uh, once they get to a certain age and they're eating on their own, they're learning how to forage. These are here year round morning doves. Wow. You can hear them cooing outside your windows, um, waking you up in the morning. How long are they with you from incubation to release? Uh, sometimes that'll take uh, um, two to three months. Wow. So people call in and they say, how's my bird? You know, and, and it's still got a long way to go. <laughs> so, so we let them know by email and, and, and uh, after their birds released and such. The closest facility to us, somewhere near Norman, Oklahoma, so you get them from all over. Yes, we get, we get people driving in from Springfield Joplin area. We get people coming from uh, Kansas City. There's a, there's a small organization out there that does mammals and, and, and uh, birds of prey, and they drive uh, um, about 50 or more birds in every, every year from uh, Kansas City. Wow, there you go. All right, so what is the process here for releasing You're going to lift this lid, and they're going to fly off majestically. <laughs> All right. All right, we ready? All right, three, two, one. All right, there they go. Right. <laughs> they like it here too much. See, they're kind of, kind of weighing their options here. I don't know, three meals a day my, may stick around. There they go. <laughs> and off they go. They'll find the local seed. There They've got go. lots of the forage here for them. Wow. And how many releases of these do you do a year? Um, well, uh, we, um, we release hundreds of these. And wow. we release them a lot in the, in the um, parks and cemeteries where there's not a lot of car activity. This area is great because it has a lot of old trees and we do a lot of native planting. And so uh, um, we encourage everybody to have a little bird garden. And sometimes it looks a little... Um, uh, disheveled, but it's actually uh, um, great cover for a lot of animals. There you go. Hey, it is wild bird rehabilitation right here in Overland. Uh, very volunteer driven. Of course, the pandemic has had a big effect on that, but hoping to get back to those volunteers Absolutely. real soon, oh, more than 80. Check out our website, uh, check out our Facebook and, and learn more about what you can do. There you go, Randy, that's right up your alley. Hey, keep it right here. We got more coming your way. It's Fox 2 News in the morning.